Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna look at what's going on for you in love. Uh, what's been going on in love? What are the challenges? Who you might be dealing with? And what you can expect next. So let's see, for Libra. What's been going on for Libra? And what can they expect in the near future? What's going on for Libra in love? What's been going on for Libra? The King of Wands reversed. I don't have any reversals on this deck, so I think it's very interesting he came out reversed. I feel like you've been dealing with a difficult person or someone could just be very upset with you. Maybe you're very angry right now with someone. Um, I'm getting like, um, some of you have dealt with someone that has been unfaithful. The King of Wands reversed sometimes you know, they, um, they aren't the most committed. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. Not only are they not the most committed, but they also have kind of like control or ego issues, you know? So it's almost like they don't want to admit when they've been caught red-handed or they try to twist things around. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. What's been going on here? What's been going on with this King of Wands reverse? Six of Wands. What's been going on with this King of Wands reverse? What's been going on with this King of Wands reverse? Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. Okay, this is becoming a very specific reading. Some of you watching this, you saw this happen. You saw something on a screen or you saw something happen with your own eyes. Um, others of you, I feel like someone put like um, blindfold over your eyes so you wouldn't be able to see, you know, like um, this is metaphorically speaking. They didn't actually like do it, but it's almost like they didn't want you to see what was happening right in front of you. Regardless of what's going on here, I feel like one of you left this connection. You or this person. If they left, it was very angry, departure, maybe words were said, arguments. Again, that bit of a controlling nature, you know, ego nature. Um, or you could have just been like, you know what, forget this. I don't want to deal with this right now. What's been going on for Libra? in love oh yeah queen of swords i feel like this is you you found something out the queen of swords for me she's like the investigator or you heard something you talked some i feel like if this was a conversation it was not a good one but i feel like you were not you're not to be messed with with this queen of swords let me know if this is uh, resonating for you in the comments what happened in the recent past? Now I'm curious. What happened in the recent past for Libra? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Again, I feel like someone was like pushing back, resisting. You know, it's like back off. Don't look at my phone. Don't talk to my friends. Don't try to figure something out. Don't talk to so-and-so. I feel like someone was playing you, I'm sorry to say. Maybe triangulating, you know? It's like they would say something to one person, but then they would tell you a different thing. I feel like there could have also been an interference in the form of a person, a friend, a partner, a parent, a sibling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That was always an issue in this connection. Let's get some more insight here. What's been going on for Libra in love? There could have been arguments about another person. What's going on for Libra in love? Bountiful harvest, growth, abundance. Why am I getting this message? <laughs> this is not for everyone, but when I saw this, I instantly thought someone's pregnant. I don't like getting messages like that. Someone's pregnant or something about this is not, 
It's like someone's not happy with what's growing or what's happening. I don't know what's going on here, but this is a very specific reading that I feel won't be for everyone. But I, someone could be expecting a child. Can I get another one, please? What's going on? That's the first time I've ever gotten that energy from a, that card. Hidden feelings. There's something here. Something also could be, this could be a secret pregnancy. Or something could also just be happening behind the scenes, growing behind the scenes that you're not aware of, Libra. Doesn't necessarily have to be a child, but you know what I mean. Like there's something happening that you're not aware of. Can we get one more, please? What a weird reading. <laughs> What's going on for Libra in love? What do we need to know? I'm using my own Oracle decks in this um, video. If you're interested in any of my decks, I do sell them on Etsy and they're linked down below. Glass coffin, endings, closure, new cycles. Something is ending, but I feel like it's ending because you're finding something out. What's the challenge here for Libra? What's the challenge for Libra at this time, Spirit? What's the challenge? Knight of Wands. Well, that's kind of like my player. Someone doing something impulsive, impulsive action. What's the challenge? Yeah, Eight of Cups. I feel like someone acted impulsively. They might have left impulsively or they were unfaithful and left. Or you left because someone did something dumb. Let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. If this is resonating for you, please tell me in the comments so I know I'm not crazy that I'm getting these messages. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yep. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Yep, Five of Swords. This, and yeah, and the Fool. This was someone that didn't think about the consequences of their actions. And they were being a fool, basically. They were being dumb, especially the Fool with the Five of Swords. Are you kidding me? This is like, I was stupid. <laughs> These two cards together. I took a risk and it didn't pay off. Or I thought I was winning. But at what cost? Especially with the Four of Cups. Look at this energy. This is someone that's like, I went after what I wanted, but I'm not happy. You know? I feel like you were dealing with someone that was only thinking of themselves and their own needs. And I don't think it worked out for them with the Five of Swords. You could have also been dealing with someone that tried to play you, but maybe you were too smart for them. Maybe you caught them in the act or, you know, and it kind of like blew up in their face a little bit. There's an energy here of departure, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. Someone could have left the connection, walked away because of what happened. I don't know if this is you or this person, but if there was a departure, it wasn't a good one. Like there was no happy happiness there. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Four of Pentacles. And there's a Fool again. I feel like someone, again, selfish, greedy. I want what I want. But I don't think they've been thinking about this. I think this is someone that left to have a better beginning or a better option somewhere else, air quotes there. And I don't think that it was the smartest thing for them to do. Also, for some of you, I'm getting that this person, they would rather leave than explain themselves because if they explain themselves, you know, it's like I'm leaving and I'm taking my secrets with me because if they were to explain themselves, they're gonna look foolish, they're gonna look stupid. 
What do we need to know about what's in this person's mind? What, what's on their mind when it comes to Libra or this connection? What's on their mind? What's on their mind when it comes to Libra or this connection? <laughs> what's on their mind? One more, please. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's just human beings are so funny. What's on their mind? Yep. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. This is translation. I was dumb. I regret what happened. I'm not happy. You know? My pride has only led to loss. You know? I wanted to appear strong. But really, I was defending something dumb. Nine of Wands. I'm getting someone that's like, you are not going to get through these walls. You are not going to break me down. You're not going to make me admit I was wrong. You're not going to make me, um, um, what's the word, accountable for my actions, right? This stiffness, this wall that they've put up. But really, all it's led to is this Five of Cups. The Two of Swords, right? You're not going to get through to me or you're not going, I'm not going to let you through these walls. But it's like, you're the one that loses in the end. And this person, it's because they're fragile. They have a fragile ego with this King of Cups. I'm getting someone that they're very easily hurt, sensitive. That's the word I'm getting, sensitive. This person's very sensitive. They react without thinking this person. Their pride is an issue. I'm speaking to a Libra where you're dealing with someone where their pride is... Their, their sensitivity, their ego, it's an issue. It never pays off for them, for this person. Never. This person that I'm talking about, Libra, this is someone who made a huge mistake and they would rather not admit the consequences, right? Like, it's like if I, you know, digging your head in the sand, I don't want to admit the consequences of my own actions. But in the end, I feel like their consequences are going to be very public. Everyone will see what's going on. Especially if there's a hidden pregnancy and someone decides to have this child. You, it's very hard to hide a pregnancy. Let me tell you that right now. Eventually, the truth comes out. Where is all of this headed next? This hot mess. <laughs> Where is all of this headed next in the near future? Six of Cups. Where is all of this headed next in, this, in the near future for Libra? Five of Pentacles. Where is all of this headed next, Spirit, for Libra and this person? The Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person is going to come crawling back, to be honest. Because they don't have anything wherever, you know, it's almost like this is someone that has a lot of pride, a lot of ego with nothing to offer. They are, it's like someone that's trying to negotiate with empty hands or someone that's like trying to call the shots, right? Like it's like, it's like, it's like they're trying, it, it's, you know what I'm picturing? I'm, I don't know why I'm picturing this, but I'm picturing a baseball game and the umpire is outside of the field and they're trying to call the shots they're trying to make calls but nobody's listening to them or even looking at them because they're not in the game does that make sense these analogies that i get these visions i get are like really funny but that's that's what i'm that's the energy it's someone that's trying to call the shots but they're not even in the game so they end up looking dumb they're satisfying themselves they probably think oh i'm calling the shots i'm really like in control here but they're not I feel like this person's gonna figure that out. I've been outside of the game this whole time and I don't really have anything to offer, but I'm gonna try. This person I feel is gonna come crawling back or at least, you know what I'm getting? For some of you, this is not even like them begging. This is just an, a, a confession. I, I They're admitting they're wrong and that goes like, that's like something that's really unexpected from them. Cause they're gonna try to balance things out give you something so that they get something in return be very careful i feel like if this person does come back it's because they don't really have 
anything else. And that is not always like the best reason you want someone to be at your door. Wow, what a crazy reading, Libra. Let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. What a hot mess. Um, I really hope that this message is for someone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.